fun perk about being off birth control. Hey, girl, what you doing on my face? I have been doing this to my body every day for 12 years. I'm so over it. So I've been on birth control for about a total of 10 years. I started taking Depo the shot about five years ago. Doctors recommend that you only take it for about two years max because it's a very potent solution. I never knew what my body was like off of birth control. Deciding to actually stop taking my birth control is a little scary for me, just because I know my cramping is unbelievable. I'm really nervous because for one, adult acne, that's a thing. If it were the man's job to take a pill and he had to worry about his skin and his weight and his mood and just the responsibility of taking something every day, they wouldn't do it. I think the population would be twice as big as it is now. I think women go off birth control for many reasons. Sometimes people want to just see what it feels like to be themselves again. Women said it for years that they felt depressed on pills and everyone said, oh no, it's in your head. And then we actually had a study that showed that it was real. So whether you want to be in birth control or go off of it, I mean, it really is something that you have to discuss with your doctor. Period is a little out of whack. I am five days late. It is a little scary because like normally if I was on birth control and I was five days late, I would know it's like stress, but of course of course now the first thought being off birth control is holy fucking shit am I pregnant. I have terrible insomnia now. Can't sleep. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I'm wide awake. I have work in the morning. This is hell. I'm now starting to break out. I never had pimples as a kid and now I feel like I'm going through puberty as an adult. I'm an emotional wreck and now I have acne. I've never had acne. It makes me kind of just want to give up on this and go right back to my birth control. The estrogen in the pill helps to bind free testosterone and so a lot of times women experience better skin and less acne on the pill. If you stop your pill, you might find out that you may start breaking out again. My cramps got so bad that I just decided to come to my studio early and pretend like I'm gonna work and really just take a nap. I like completely unbuttoned myself. I am on my way to my third or fourth dermatologist appointment. So I'm super mad. I just ended the appointment and the dermatologist told me to get back on breast control since none of the creams and none of the pills I've been putting in my body for two and a half months are working. He doesn't think it's strong enough, so he prescribed me Yaz. So now I'm gonna go pick up Yaz. I don't know if I'm like more mad <laughs> at these doctors or more mad at my own body. Oh, and I don't know if I'm gonna cry because I'm my hormones are all or because I'm like so over it. With our newer pills, a lot of women have almost no bleeding or no periods at all. And if you don't have periods, you don't have cramps. And so if you're one of those women who had heavy painful periods and the pill helped that, when you go back to your normal cycle, those things will return. Crystal took Depo in high school and you've been off of it for a while. Yeah, I didn't sure. know anything about it really other than my doctor was like, sure. We don't want you to get pregnant, so we'll do whatever. So when I went, they never told me any kind of side effects to expect. They were just like, here's a shot. What was it like when you started to come off of it? Because I can't sleep, I've gained weight. I would like get into a relationship and I'd start birth control and then I would go crazy pants and mm. like become a different person. But going off of it, like my mood, everything just Stabilized. got better. Skin cleared up, you know, periods were shorter. That's crazy because I've had completely different Side effects. Going off of it was like losing depression. Like it was just like all around better. We're moving over to progestin only birth control. One is an injection called Depo-Provera. It doesn't have estrogen and it suppresses the natural estrogen in your body and that can have some impact on bone density. That's the reason for not recommending it for long periods of time. Depo-Provera sits in your fat. For a lot of women, it can take up to a year before the, the drug is completely out of your system. System. Day five of my period. Looks like I'm wearing all red. It's really a lot of blood. I will have to say, I think this is the most frustrating part about going off of my birth control. It's four o'clock. I've been up since two. I can't sleep. I'm wide awake. I went and saw a new gynecologist. She basically said I needed to go get an ultrasound because of the amount of blood I was losing. It turns out they found a fibroid. Now I have all these other problems. Everything is just telling me to go back on the birth control. I do feel like 
things are starting to normalize within my body. I feel better, I feel more energized aside from not getting sleep. Do you guys notice anything drastically different about me, my attitude, or my face? You dyed your hair yesterday. I've officially been off birth control for six months. Off birth control? Oh. Off birth control. Hey, that's when you started dating that guy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've gotten more acne in the last six months, but I'm happier in the last six months. I have so much to do today, but I'm cramping. I just started my period and I don't want to get out of bed. So I will not be getting out of bed. Okay, so here I am back on my bullshit. And as you can see, my acne is pretty much totally cleared up. It's like night and day with my face. I had my first period on my new Yaz and it was a rough one. I had like crazy blood clots. I think it was also the fibroids leaving my body. Is that a thing? I'm not happy about it. I would have loved to stay off the birth control just because like my mood felt amazing. My skin and the fibroids forced me to come back on it. Can't have it all, I guess. It's been about six months since I've stopped taking my birth control. And I wouldn't say things have gotten easier. After about the first month of going off, I had my period for like a month straight and I thought I was bleeding out. And then, as the months started going on, it started to become more regular. I'm still cramping. The sleeping has gotten better, but this overall experience, I think was worth it. My body feels like it's starting to normalize. I finally started losing the weight, but it was rough in the beginning. <laughs>